I'm ready, Master. All right, Janie. Where would you like to go to? <laughs> well, you're the most beautiful thing I ever saw. Oh, thank you, Master. <laughs> thank you. Do you like my new dress? Yes, Jenny, it's just beautiful. Well, I could not decide whether to wear this one or whether to... or this one. <laughs> you certainly don't have any problem with your wardrobe, do you? <laughs> oh, that's wonderful, Jenny, just wonderful. Uh -huh. Where would you like me to take you to dinner? Jenny! <laughs> 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 Happy anniversary, Master. When you go out, all out, you really go all out, don't you? Are you content, Master? Content? Well, who wouldn't be? A lovely girl, deserted island, wonderful food, and... Say, that wine's nice. Oh, it is a very old bottle. I, I, I found it somewhere. <laughs> powerful of all the spells. In all our history, it has never been known to fail. Oh, goody. The genie must first obtain three things from the person to be put under the spell. A lock of hair, a piece of fingernail, and a small circle of cloth from his clothing. Hmm. That should not be too difficult. Genie! Good evening, Jeannie. Yeah, I brought some papers home the other day, and I for the life of me figure out what I did with them. I left them upstairs, I left them downstairs. Now, Jeannie, it was an envelope, a little envelope about this big with a red stripe on it said, confidential. No. No. Now, isn't that funny? I wonder what... Master! Yeah? Sit down, Master. Yeah. You need a haircut. Jenny, I haven't got time for a haircut. Oh, oh your hair is much too long. Huh? Now, don't you put those things on my oh, hair. Oh, neatness counts. Uh, gee, I haven't, I really haven't got time. I've got to get back to the base. I just came back to, to get a clean shirt and pick up some papers. <laughs> I'm going night flying tonight. Night flying? No. The trim? All right, I'll change my shirt first. <laughs> say that. May I have those, please? Uh, yes, I'm going to the Aleutians. Oh, that is near the South Pole. <laughs> the North Pole. Oh, well, one pole is like another. I miss you so when you're away. Well, there's nothing to worry about. I'm a very qualified pilot, and I'll see you when I see you. Oh, will you kiss me goodbye? <sighs> sure. What was that? What was what? I, I, I heard something. What was it? <laughs> Jeannie, there's something going on in that sweet little head of yours. I'd love to find out what it is, but I just don't have the time. <laughs> what was that? Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> what was that? You had better hurry, Master, or you are going to be late for your flight. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll have it on. I'll change and get a fresh tie. You better put some mothballs in my closet. 
Goodbye. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're up to, but whatever it is, you're not going to get away with it. Goodbye, Master. Do you have the objects from your beloved? Mm, yes. Good. Place them in a goatskin bag. Goatskin bag. <laughs> Goatskin bag, tie, here, fingernail. <laughs> ah, are they in the bag? Yes. Then recite the incantation to La Halaba. <clears throat> oh, great place where spirits dwell, hear thee now, my magic spell. Hair and nails and cloth of loom make. Fill in first and last name of subject of spell. Give middle initial, if any. <laughs> Hair and nails and cloth of loom make Major Anthony Nelson no middle initial. Be my groom. Ere another change of tide make... Fill in first and last name of person casting spell. Give middle initial, if any. <laughs> Ere another change of tide make Jeannie... Sorry, that is my whole name. <laughs> Be my master's bride. Oh, it is done. Jeannie! Jeannie! Oh. Hi. I had to come back. Oh, Master, what are you doing here? I had to come back. You get that wedding outfit. When I come back from the Aleutians tomorrow, we're getting married. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear something? No. <laughs> my own wedding, and it is beautiful. Beautifully. Join hands, please. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to join this man and this woman in holy wedlock. If there is anyone who knows of any reason this marriage should not take place, let him speak now or forever hold his peace. Uh, the ring. Uh... No, the ring. We don't have the ring. We don't. Roger, give me the ring. Uh, <clears throat> what ring? Not that ring. Yeah. No. The... Jeannie, Jeannie, get Jeannie. Je... What are you talking about? Jeannie's right next to you. <laughs> Roger, Jeannie is behind the flowers in the back of the room. Get her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get her. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Get with me. Yeah. I knew something would happen. I just knew it. It's all right. It's all right. Jeannie, snap out of it. Yes. Yes, this is the moment you've been waiting for all your life. Now, will you get up there? Yes. Yes. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, good. Oh, We're uh, ready now, Reverend. I can hardly believe it. <laughs> do you, Anthony Nelson, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. To care for her in sickness and in health, adversity and prosperity, 
And forsaking all others, keep yourself only for her as long as you live? I do. Do you, Jeannie, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you care for him in sickness and in health? Prosperity and adversity? And forsaking all others, keep yourself only for him as long as you live? Oh, yes, I do. You may place the ring on her finger. Then, by the power vested in me by the laws of this state, I now pronounce you man and wife. Oh. <laughs> you may kiss the bride. <laughs>